In today's funny story, we bring you Farmer Jack trying to assist his married son with some marriage problems. It's a hilarious and funny story with an even better punchline. So sit back and enjoy the ride of the marital process from the perspective of a car. So Farmer Jack was working on his car when his married son come to complain about his wife. The father said, Well, my boy, let me try and explain married life in comparison with this car. The boy acknowledged that this was going to be an interesting discussion. Now, the boy wants to know what car, or woman for that matter, his father preferred when he was still young. Well, the father starts to explain that when he was young, and he can vividly remember it, walking past the new car dealership, looking at the beautiful new cars, was like looking at the lovely ladies at a party. Everything was so nice, it smelled so nice, and you could imagine driving one of those cars for many years. You could not imagine ever getting tired of taking her for a drive. Some of those cars was every young man's dream. There obviously were very expensive and beautiful cars, and ladies, sports cars, and then basic family cars. And then there was the workhorses, the pickups. These things could go everywhere, any time of day, but they were just too expensive and no young man could afford them. And what car would you say, Dad? Was Mom like? The father looked around to see if the coast was clear and then whispered as he continued to explain to his son. When he was a young man and early in his career, he couldn't really pick and choose so much because you were just too happy with what you could afford. But a new car, he explained, was worth the investment. He could still clearly remember the day he made his decision on that small car. He could not sleep at night. He could only think about having that car as his own. Some men were obviously happy to drive used cars, but that was not the father's thing. He imagined driving long distances with his new car, traveling the country and so many more. He could learn about the engine, polish it on weekends and look well after it. But he had to wait until I had the finances to afford it because buying a car, or getting married for that matter, was very expensive. But he eventually managed to do it. So what you are telling me, Dad, is that Mom was like a new entry-level small car. It had all the features, you know. Affordable, reliable, fuel efficient, enough space at that time, long service intervals, and low on maintenance. And the styling was very cute for the era. Now tell me, Dad, how did things change through the years? The father continued by explaining that his son and his brother obviously destroyed the interior. He did not wash the car that much anymore, it didn't smell like a new car anymore, and the maintenance bills just kept creeping up. So the vehicle almost started to become unaffordable. It was making weird noises, had a lot of rattles, and the farmer battled a lot of times to get it started. This was a frustrating period for the farmer. I can imagine that it is about where you are now in your married life. The son shook his head in acknowledgement. So, the father continued, it's at that stage of the farmer's life he started to think he should have waited a bit and got something more durable, like a pickup. He started to think of getting rid of the vehicle, but he had too many good memories and she still did the job efficiently. At least she was still reliable. The bumper looked like it had a lot of hail damage. The body was a bit rusted but it still did the day-to-day -day jobs very well. Now at that stage of my life, I started looking at my friends. They all were starting to get new cars, or wives for that matter, large pickups, sports cars, and much more. It all seems to look so nice. The farmer continued that he fortunately decided to wait it out and see how things unfolded. In the meantime, he started to take old Trustworthy for a total rebuild. The body was new and gleamy, the engine was overhauled, and everything was done as when it was new. And would you believe it, my boy? It drove almost as well as when it was new. All she ever needed was a bit of attention. The boy was now really interested and asked his dad how that turned out for him. Well, the father explained that once he decided to go down that road, he started seeing wonderful things about his old car again. Those guys that bought new vehicle every couple of years became very poor 
as they could not keep up with the image of this beautiful vehicle they were driving. The maintenance cost and finance cost of those vehicles were just so much more expensive than the car the farmer was used to drive. Many of them lost their vehicles when they could not afford to drive them anymore. Now the old farmer has got a grin on his face. My old car is now a classic. And because I've looked so well after it all the years, it has gone up significantly in value. I am spending so much time with it now. It's my pride and joy. He continues that the old car only gets to sleep in the garage now. It gets cleaned daily and polished every weekend. He takes the car to shows, and she has won many prizes. Even the young men would still like to have a look under the hood. But it's a no-touch vehicle today. In the meantime, the boy's mother came walking towards them with a cup of coffee for each of them. Now tell me. What are you two boys talking about? The son replied to his mother that they were talking about cars. The boy then asks, Hey mom, if dad was a car, what type of a car would you say he was? The old lady thought for a moment and then said, I think that if your father was a car, your father would have been a garbage truck. Obviously much larger than what he is supposed to be. Always smelly, but hey, we can't go without it for more than a week. If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.